welcome back to the channel. We are going to do a rod and reel of Arsenal that for 2022. So stick around in three, two, one. This is going to be the video for the 2022 rod and reel Arsenal. First rod I got here is a seven foot medium heavy Shakespeare discouragement. Say that is a, I would say a moderate chip. It's got a little chip right there. It's got a little chip right there. It's not. It's not a. It's about a nineteen twenty dollar rod from Walmart. It's split grip. It's got the wing grip right there. Uh, on it, the reel I have on it is a seven to three to one gear ratio. It is a H two O Express Mentor. And I have 15 pound floor carpet on. Obviously, as you can tell, it's my square build rod. Square build. Um, um, I throw light jigs on it. I will throw over half half ounce on it. Um, 1.5, 2.5. Um, I've even thrown a couple of. Um, 2.5s on it. And good reel, good rod. I probably got $40 in this whole set. The next rod. This rod right here is my big rod. This right here, rod right here is my pig rod. It is a 72, yeah, 72 medium heavy, loose carbon fire speed stick. It's classified as a jig or worm rod, but as you can tell, I've got a flat side. This is a six cents. Uh, they're flat side. I don't remember what it, what it is. It's flat side. It's pretty good. I have an angular. It's an angular reel, and it is a six two one. It's a good good reel. Uh, I think you can buy them for twenty thirty bucks on Amazon. I may, I may be off on that. Um, I've done crankbaits with it. I've done jigs with this. I've punched with it. I mean, there's not a lot of punching rods. I mean, I can punch. Hmm. I can flip. I can do it just about anything. anything I want. This is my, not my workhorse, but it's my go-to rod. This is my Diola Air, Air Rod Air X 701 HFB, which it is a seven foot rod, but it's a heavy. Seven foot, but it's a heavy. And for this to be, this is my broomstick. But it is a great rod. I'll have to find the links and I'll have to find some. But Buddy gave me this because I need to ask him if he had a seven foot heavy rod because I had a seven foot three from Field and Stream and I couldn't do anything with it. This rod actually has a little bit of tip, more tip on it than most. It's, got a, it's a fast action. It's got more of a uh, more tip to it than most broomsticks do. But usually I put the that H two O reel on. Usually I put this on. When it gets about summertime, I'll switch that out from fluorocarbon. I got fluorocarbon right there. I'll put braid on instead. I usually run 40, 50 pound braid. But when it gets in the colder months, I put mono. This is my top water rod. This is my frogging rod. This is my top water rod. This is my um, um, heavy jigs, like if I'm punching or something like that. This is what I usually go to. My next rod I've got, 
I'm actually got bought this over Christmas. Uh, Titan Warehouse is having a sale on it. This is a seven foot, medium heavy, fast action, laser SG1 speed stick. This is, it doesn't say what they're, uh, but I use this mainly for jigs. Jigs, I've thrown uh, jerk baits on it. I've thrown crank baits on it. This is going to turn out to be, this is going to take the place of this rod right here. That's why I bought it. I bought it to replace this rod. Because I think it's like $59.99 on Tackle Warehouse. And as y'all as y'all don't know, but on Tackle Warehouse, if you spend $50, it's free shipping. Um, right now, I've got a jig tied on it. Uh, the reel does not change. It's a Casking Sparkus. It is a 631, I think. Yes, it's a 631 gear ratio, so I'll crank with it. Um, it's got the wooden grips right here on it. Um, I've, the biggest fish I ever caught was actually on an H2O rod, but it's got fluorocarbon on it. I run 15 to 20 pounds of fluorocarbon all year long. That's the only thing they'll say on this. This will be my work on the don't like using these on the tee at a time. Uh, I'm not a big spinning spin rod guy uh, or spinning gear. Uh, ever since I learned how to throw a bait caster, that's what I'd rather go with. But this is a speed spin 20. I've got, I want to say maybe 10. I think it's 10 pounds of fluorocarbon on it. And that's all I got on it. I ain't even got braid backing on it. I took the braid backing off of this because I changed it up so much. From 10 to 12 to 15. I, this, if I'm going to shake the edge, uh, wacky rig, dead rig, whatever I'm going to throw is going to be on this rod. It's gonna, this is my finesse rod. And it's a laser spark speed stick. And it's a 666 medium fast. So it's got, it's got a lot of tip to it. It's a quick rod. But I've caught a few good fish on it. I think the biggest fish I've called on it was a three pounder. But like I said, I don't fish with it very often. It's a six foot six. Foot six so. All right, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed the rod and reel arsenal for 2022. There will be more. I've got my eyes on a couple more. I want to get a few more bait casters. I want to get one more spinning rod. If you like what you see right here, please like, please subscribe, please share to your friends. I'll put links in the description of what, where these rods came from, where I got them from, how they do, and I'll keep updating them as the year goes on. Thank you.